In this lab, you will be using an affinity column to separate two unknowns and determine their identity based on molecular weight. Begin by obtaining a packed column that color coordinates with the color of the tape on your unknown sample. This will ensure that your target protein binds tightly to the resin so that the nonspecific contaminant protein can fall through first. Also, obtain 10 milliliters of the appropriate color-coded equilibration buffer and 5 milliliters of the correct elution buffer. First, wash the column with 5 column volumes of their equilibration buffer. Do this 1 milliliter at a time and do not let the resin run dry. While this is washing, adjust the displacement of your column by moving it up or down the ring stand, or change the position of the tube. The column should be dripping at a rate of about 1 milliliter per every 2 minutes. It is crucial that you do not rush while collecting fractions. Once the column is washed, close the stopcock and remove excess solution from the top. Then, add 0.5 milliliters of your unknown. Make sure to save one drop of your sample. This will be used later in the lab. Allow your unknown to run into the column slowly, so there is enough time for the target protein to bind. Then, wash the column with 0.25 milliliters of equilibration wash, collect this, and discard the fraction. Wash the column with 0.5 milliliters equilibration solution again. Collect this into a 1.5 milliliter bullet tube. Bullet tubes can be obtained from your TA or instructor. Next, wash the column with 5 milliliters of the equilibration wash and discard. Next, you will switch to using the elution buffer. Place 0.25 milliliters of buffer onto the column and let it run through slowly so it can pull off the target protein. Discard this fraction. Load another 0.5 milliliters of the buffer onto the column and discard it. Add the final 0.5 milliliters of elution buffer onto the column and collect it in a separate 1.5 milliliter bullet tube. You will then run your samples on a page gel. To do this, obtain three 0.5 milliliter bullet tubes. Label them A, B, and C. In tube A, use a micropipette to transfer 25 microliters of your original sample and 25 microliters of a blue sample buffer into the tube. Tube B will contain 25 microliters of the equilibration fraction, the fall through, and tube C will contain the elutant fraction. These also need 25 microliters of the sample buffer in them. Heat each tube for 3 minutes in a 100 degree Celsius block. Load 12.5 microliters of each sample onto the gel. When loading onto the gel, carefully guide the pipette between the two sheets of plastic into the well. Slowly push down on the pipette plunger when it is in place and do not release until you pull the pipette tip fully out of the solution. Be sure to mark down which lanes your samples occupy. A picture of the final gel will be sent to you via email when it is ready. Finally, clean your used column by blowing the resin into the appropriate color-coded waste container with nitrogen. Your TA will get the container for you, and it is very important that you use the correct one. Then, fill the column with glycerol and rinse it clean with deionized water. This will prepare the column for the next student. The glycerol will be provided by your TA.